Our anti-aging specialist Nicole Bell from Face Today Medi Clinic is fast earning the nickname of Fairy Godmother with her remarkable makeovers without surgery. Most recently, she's been focusing on women who have been struck down with medical conditions that leave their face paralysed. We'll meet Karen from Cannes shortly, who contracted Ramsey Hunt syndrome. To tell us more, we welcome Nicole Bell. Hello. Hi Susie. Great to see you. Thanks. What is Ramsey Hunt syndrome? It's quite an unknown syndrome Susie and, and actually unknown to a lot of GPs. It's often misdiagnosed as a middle ear infection when actually it's the herpes zoster virus which is what you find in chicken pox that actually occurs in the ear and creates facial paralysis of all of the nerve endings through one side of your face. Good heavens. Mm. Well let's have a look at Karen um, as she was. There's a shot of her on her wedding day. She looks really really gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see she's got a beautiful symmetrical smile and everything's working perfectly a gorgeous young healthy woman yep. and here again she is beforehand looking totally perfect but of course overnight she wakes up and this is what she encounters yeah so half of her face is completely paralyzed she thought she'd had a stroke and um, unfortunately with the misdiagnosis it took Karen six weeks to find out what had actually happened so unfortunately her paralysis is permanent now now, that's the Bell's palsy is part of the it's, syndrome, It's part isn't of the it? syndrome. So the, the nerve endings are actually affected by the cold sores, and what that actually leaves you with is a Bell's palsy, which is facial paralysis. Karen, welcome. Thank you. You look fabulous. If you wouldn't mind just looking straight down the barrel of that camera, this one right here, yeah. to Marty there, and give us look at that smile. Mm. You would seriously think that there, that there was nothing, the no to do whatsoever. Absolutely. Aside from the looking at you and you're looking fantastic, uh, the whole emotional side of things just must have been terrible for you. Well, it was quite a shock for me waking up, you know, the day after I thought I had an ear infection and I thought I'd had a stroke because the whole left side of my face had dropped. It was quite difficult to get through that and it was a very intense medical, you know, uh, round of investigations and mm. sessions, yeah, for some time. And a great deal of pain, I believe. Uh, unfortunately, with Ramsey-Hunt syndrome, there's also what's called neuralgic pain, which is the damage to the nerves, and the nerve endings are, you know, very agitated for a long time till they regrow. And you couldn't close your eye for six months? No, I no, I had to patch my eye down every night to take care of it, and I still, today, eight years later, have to use eye drops every day, m many times a day. Now, Nicole. You, what have you done to make it so symmetrical? Well, um, in actual fact, Karen was a personal friend of my sister Kerry in Cairns and it was that personal relationship that actually decided that she'd come along and together Kerry and I have actually matched the two sides of the face. So this being the paralysed side, we actually put a little bit of Botox here to actually make this corner of the mouth go up a little bit. Mm -hmm. This one was going up too high, so we've put a little bit of Botox here to bring it down. We've Botox basically this entire side. This eyebrow was a crazy eyebrow that would keep going up all by itself all the time. Mm -hmm. So we've brought that eyebrow down, we've done some Botox around here, and a little bit of Botox in here because this lip would work too actively, a little bit of Botox here because that side would work too actively. So it's basically about all the muscles of the face you need to know exactly what muscles doing what mm. which ones overactive which one to stimulate and how to balance the face and I think we've done a fairly um, perfect job in creating that symmetry I think you're looking absolutely fantastic uh, Botox as I understand it I mean women now of course use it to, mm. uh, to for anti-aging but am I right in saying that it was originally developed for Bell's palsy it was actually originally developed for um, like various nerve conditions and then they found that people actually had a great um, reduced from it so you know it developed yeah. into being used as an anti-wrinkle treatment but actually the other thing we did with Karen because she had asymmetry in her mouth is that we we actually balanced her mouth and a bit of a jawline with some Restylane which made a huge difference yeah. as well because with one side talking the other side not it looked like one side was larger than the other so yeah. it's all about just recreating that balance and that beauty as you could see that Karen had yeah. before and the verdict, how do you feel now? Um, much more confident than I was before. I think, you know, eight years is a long time to mm. feel, you know, not happy with how your looks have changed so drastically. But I'm delighted. The, the effects actually started the day after I had the first treatment. I didn't expect that. I'm totally delighted. My husband is, my family. It's wonderful. Because oh, you had a lot of kids innocently coming up asking you what was wrong. Mm. It really does. It, it, undermines your self-confidence doesn't it? It does and with young children when you're working with them um, you know you can say oh yeah I am really clever I can do that but mm -hmm. you know inside I was thinking oh, I wish I wouldn't hear that so often mm -hmm. but yeah it was so noticeable of course they're going to inquire that's okay. <laughs>
Fantastic. Well done. Thank you. How very godmother. <laughs> <laughs> we just love it. Well, it's it. nice for, for everyone in Australia to know, A, if you ever get an earache, be careful of it. Mm -hmm. And also that um, Botox and, and different products are not just about looking more beautiful. It is about there's lots of medical conditions and non-surgical rejuvenation, mm -hmm. people that you can help. And that's really what Karen wanted to get across to Australia. Mm -hmm. Well, you've done just that. Thank you to you both.